You got your rain gear packed up? Rain gear, I thought you were gonna grab it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got it. I think it's gonna get a lot wetter here because it looks like that storm's coming in later this week, so as long as we got our rain gear and everything, we should be fine. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go up over the mountain. So you wanna cut through that little, little pass okay. and then we'll stay on that branch. It looked really good there because it was a little bit of a terrace, but the river's down below. Okay. It just seems like far enough away where nobody else is gonna mess with you. It's about 14 miles. Good I little mean, trek. Yeah, I feel like the further back we get, we're gonna be chasing moose that no one, no one else is hunting seen. this year. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Being Remy's brother, he's been a huge influence and role model. He's taught me everything I know just from watching and being able to be out in the field with him. His preparation on knowing the area, he'll spend hours studying the land, the vegetation. You can look at the area and know where animals might go when they get pressure. And I think that's what makes him so successful out in the field. <laughs> a lot of horses. Mm -hmm. Set up. Yeah, we got a spot for camp. There's already four bears right there, brown bears. Sow and three cubs. You don't want to get between them? No. Okay. All right, let's figure it out. Let's get camp going though. Yeah, I think this would be a good spot. It's not as protected, but at least from here, we can kind of see everything. Yeah, we're a little more exposed. I'd rather be on this flat little bench. We could even start our hunt just hiking up right above camp because right. we've got a good vantage from here. We can kind of keep an eye on what's going around. If bears move in and out, at least we'll be able to see them right here in the open. It's the first morning and I to situate with a, a nice wind break where I can see the valley below me. The tough part is it can be pretty thick, so it can be hard to spot the moose. And when the wind's blowing, they can't really hear the calls very well, so calling doesn't work as well. Right now there's about five moose using that swamp. I'm just gonna watch the cows and see if it, it'll attract a big bull. With that many moose though, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to call them away, so we might just have to stalk in on it. That's a way bigger one. I think that's the one I saw on the left. You can maybe call on that side of the swamp and bring them across. And bring them across. If not, then it's worth maybe walking over there and just getting in there. I think that bull is just right in here. But it's so thick. He's gonna be facing us and there's not a lot of distance. Uh... a lot typically you get one opportunity one good opportunity per trip and if you don't make it happen in that opportunity that could be your last so knowing that just from years of hunting when you're presented with a great opportunity and it doesn't get put together you know your chances are dwindling so it's a huge mental battle right out of the gate first morning Remy's so methodical in everything he does, he analyzes everything, that I think deep down he knows that he can put it together and still make it happen. You 
You want chicken dumpling soup or chicken dumpling? Just chicken dumpling. That was a good day, man. I think if we keep calling and keep getting up and glassing or we can see them like that and then move in on them, I think that's gonna be the ticket. I think you're right. I think it's just so thick there trying to pick a spot to set up where you can actually get a shot that's over four yards. It's, oh yeah, everything's crazy. gonna be 500 yards or 15 yards. Yeah. Just like grandma's cooking. right there so, so freaking close it's 10 yards away I cannot believe how close he was you can always just second guess every decision when you're out hunting but you know you make those decisions you live with them and sometimes it's hard you come down to the wire and you're just grasping at straws you're just trying to make something happen and I feel like I've done everything in my power to try to get a good bull. They just disappeared, I don't know. No matter where we go, the moose aren't there. That's tough. With Remy, I know failure's not an option, but for him, it's not even a thought. Two missed opportunities is never out of your mind. I think what he does is he takes that and channels it to just propel him to succeed. His instinct kicks in and he knows exactly what to do to make it happen. Nice little fresh camp meat. It's not as big as a moose, but it'll be good tonight.
You nervous yet? I was nervous after the first day. <laughs> and now tomorrow's the last. Hey, you can get them on the first day or you can get them on the last day, but it doesn't matter. You just have to give it our all tomorrow. I would like to come home with some meat. That's why we're out here in the first place anyways, but I'm ready for bed. Me too. Life just gets so busy and you just sometimes don't get to spend time with the ones that you care about the most. And so when me and my brother come out here, it's just us, the mountains, the animals, and nothing else. And I wouldn't trade that time for anything. Whether we come out with a moose or not, we still get to spend that time together. What do you think? It's getting down to the wire, man. We might as well go after him. He's bedded. There's nothing easy about going after that bull. Yeah. I think once you get down there, it's gonna be a maze. You can never figure out exactly where you are and these things keep moving. They are literally 100 yards and he has no idea he's right there. Oh, I just wanna scream, get down, get down. is walking off. I don't think Remy sees him. He's uh, walking away. Oh, it's so thick down there. Oh. That was close. And her ass is off. You didn't just have him within yards away won't even step out i just know how bad he wants it i mean i'm out here either way with him and for him so moose or not we're still in it together i just feel bad for him because i think he feels like he's letting you know me down but that's not the case at all it's like fate says nope no moose on this hunt it's like i i don't think i could have hunted any harder I mean, I know for a fact, I could not have hunted any harder. Is that a bull? I think so. He's coming right towards us. Yeah, let's get your bow, get your shoes on. Sounded really good, just like pfft. sounded like good. Oh, I was just up there, and I just heard like the release of your bow, and I was like, uh oh, nice. That's cutting it down to the wire. <laughs> Were we supposed to leave here in about two hours? I'm like rolling my sleeping pad up, and I look out the tent. And there's a bull there. Let's see if we can call him in. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, thanks, Jay. That was a long nine days of struggle. Oh, he didn't go far at all. Wow. They are big. Packing up camp and he walks into camp. I mean, can't ask for much more than that. I know there's bigger moose in these woods, but I'll take the meat any day. That's awesome. Last night, I was so sure it was 
not going to happen and we're so close to so many bulls and passed up bulls and then thinking of all the decisions that I made and maybe should have made them different and then one just presents itself as we're packing up. Sometimes it's not the biggest bull in the world that makes it. We hunted hard. Okay. <laughs> now we've got some meat to go home with. For me, being able to go on this trip, it's an honor to be able to go out with someone who I look up to and respect, whose family. You've endured the environment, you've put in the effort, the energy, the miles. It's Alaska. There's nothing easy about it. You just earn it that much more. And then being able to put it together at the very end and watch Remy is something I'll remember forever.